Yo, what up, people? Smithers are here today to give you Rosen Maiden Episode 3 review. I know, I know it's fucking late. I know it's late. But fuck it. Better late than never. Uh, oh my god. I don't know what it is about this, but something in this is intriguing the shit out of me. Like, like what? What? I mean, of course, there are a couple things in there. I'm like, oh my god, why are you doing this shit, bro? Why are you doing this shit? Like, literally, like, literally, this dude, oh my god. But, but at the same time, eh, shit happens. So, shit happens. But shit happens. All I'm gonna say, though, is a nigga broke the number one rule of school. Middle school, high school. Number one rule. Don't give a fuck. If you give a fuck, then you're screwed. Not always, not always. It's it's been changing little by little. But if you if you're gonna be yourself, don't try and hide it. That's that, that that's the shit. You're gonna be yourself. Don't try and hide it. And that fucking works out. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Just if you're gonna, you're either gonna be somebody completely fake. Or you're gonna be yourself. Just telling you right now, if you're gonna, if you wanna actually be you, don't try to hide you. I know it's weird, fucking concept, but but like literally though, this dude know how like oh my god, the dude knows how to sew, and he, he was he was making dolls when he was a little little girl, a boy, a little boy, a little boy. But, oh, God. But, yes, 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 fuck it. I can see this Rosen Maiden shit happening to a real fucking kid. Hell yeah, I can see that shit happening fucking every every start of every year. Fuck, I, I can see that shit happening right the fuck now if there was school right the fuck now. I can see that shit happening right now. Fuck it. Dude, though. Dude, you should, you should have just fucking kept with it. Uh, that's one of those things I try, try to, I don't give any wisdom to anybody. Don't give a fuck. That's that's my wisdom. That's your life lesson. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck what people think about you. Don't give a fuck who hates you. No, don't give a fuck. Why? Because people who give a fuck end up getting, fucked. like like not like that, but in like another way. People who give a fuck end up getting fucked in the end. I mean, yes, you have to care about some things, yes. But you shouldn't care about another person's opinion of you. Because the only thing that matters is your opinion of you. But dude, though, if I give this dude some advice, if he wanted to hide his fucking secret talent, slash gift, slash shit you should never tell any other boy in any other school, period. should never get out there. And that is... Deny, lie, and hide. But, uh, as we should have did. But, but, at the same time, though, at the same time, if he would have kept, I don't know, uh, it's, what the whole bullying thing is, I mean, me, personally, I, I never got bullied. Well, I kind of did, but I kind of didn't. Because it's impossible to break down somebody as complex as me, mostly because I don't give a fuck. Say what you want to say. I can hit I can hit myself harder than you can, and then I'll peel on your ass. There's so much there's so much shit I could I could say to you that niggas they they come to me say some shit. Then I'll fucking say some shit back. The next thing you know, this nigga about to fight me, he goes to the swing, he hits me, now I got a free shot at his ass. Why? Self defense. Self defense Self defense. It was self defense. You saw him. You see. You see it. See it. I'm pressing charge on his ass shoe. I want to see his ass in Julie. Fuck it. He won't be hitting me no damn old no. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm like that. Fuck it. You hit me. Hell yeah. I'm gonna whoop your ass and then I'm gonna press charges on your ass. Fuck it. Double. Double. Got to think. Fighting. Fighting is not solution. There'll always be fighting though. But I mean, try and fight with your fucking mind for once. Shit. It's all about the fist nowadays. Oh my god. 
You looking at my girl, bro? Ugh, sucker punch. I don't know how the fuck this guy into like a little thing I'm bullying, but yeah, fuck it. Don't give a fuck. That's any advice I could give to any fucking high school girl or boy watching this. If you're a boy watching this and you're actually really into this shit, then I really suggest you take my advice and don't give a fuck about what anybody says and just be you. Why? Because girls fucking. If this dude would have went to high school, this dude would have been at all the girls around him, like literally. He's making dresses and this He's making dresses. He knows how to draw. He's somewhat good looking. Get I don't I'm not gonna say that he's homosexual, no. I mean, come on. Come on. Girls out there had, would have to agree with me that if they saw a kid that could like sew and make dresses and all that cool shit like I'm um like like really do that shit and professionally and shit. They'd be all over that nigga, like literally. Like literally. They might be using him, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. He get used a lot. For like hugs, like literally. Oh my god. Don't even start on the hug bullshit. Oh my god. Fuck it. But fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I know I know I'm going like way off topic with this fucking review, but it had to be said. And that was basically what the review was about. It was a flashback to him getting bullied. He tries to put the fucking doll together. He is caught by the seventh doll. She says, thorn, 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 thorn. And then he gets sucked into like a fucking dream world, which isn't actually a dream world. It's like the actual like fucking making of the doll. And you got to find the two last pieces in like a giant ass fucking dimension just full of pieces. Like, ugh. Dude found him, I was like, oh, shit, damn. Put it back together. Of course, of course, of course, shaking her, trying to wake her up. And of course, she had to keep her pimp hand strong. I don't know why. When she came to life, and the, the, it was like the most, like, damn. Normally, I'm used to, like, the hype music, or they'll do something bad. But this... It was something different. And it wasn't really hyped. It just made me, like, relax. Like, I was like, ah, Like, what? Why the fuck am I going like, ah, Like, what? I don't know why, but it happened. So, fuck it. Also, if I could give this nigga some advice, if he was in high school. Nigga, don't, don't, do, don't do no shit like that for school. No, no, no. That's a way to get bullied. Unless you don't give a fuck, then me, fuck, you, you can try and bully me. That shit ain't gonna work. Why? Like I always say, don't do shit, dumb shit at school, even though I do all the fucking time. I did all the fucking time. That's what I love to do. Made it fun, interesting. And I still graduated from that shit. Like, literally going through it with both my eyes closed. Doing dance moves, and all that shit, fuck it. What I am going to say, though, is he, sh if he would, because it's obvious that he's not the type of, he's like, I don't know what the word would be. Over dramatic. Yeah, 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 over dramatic. People who think that everybody else's opinion is the ultimate leeway to them. Yeah, that sounds a good way to say it. Hell yeah, it's only a good way to say it. He's one of those type of characters when he was growing up, where people make fun of him. He would think, "No, it's not true." See, God, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. It's like shut the fuck up. It's like come on, dude. Word never hurt. Shit. Like that, I, I'd rather I'd rather have some nigga try and peel the shit out of me than stab me with a knife. I guarantee you that shit. That, what the fuck you gonna do? Hurt my feelings? <laughs> Please. I mean, I don't know. It's it's me though. But his character though, he's one of those people that would get bullied at school, and if he would have kept going, he would have been a motherfucker that would probably have grabbed a gun or fucking. Oh my god! Did you hear about that shit? Of uh, this dude who went around with like a fucking knife and he was blind 
and he started stabbing people. I'm like, what? I, like, literally, some dude was blinded. He kept on getting bullied at some, like, school. And so he went around stabbing people. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? I know it's not funny, but it is at the same time. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Calm the fuck down. I swear to God, people, these kids need to calm the fuck down. Shit. I mean, bullying only can make you stronger. I mean, but, I mean, but what I'd give him advice is keep that shit away from school. Keep it at keep it at home with you and on the internet with strangers. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know. But, hmm? What can that say about me? I don't know. It, it can say anything. Fuck it. And I haven't talked about this episode like very much because it was like. Pretty basic episode. I mean, not very much happened. Like, like, some stuff did happen. And I got a couple theories. Like, like who's who's that girl that's working with them? And what did, did she, does she tie into the flashback at all? Uh, she, she honestly might have a little tank bomb. A little tank tank. But I'm gonna say though, most important, calm fuck down. Bullying ain't shit. Like literally. Unless the nigga is beating the shit out of you on a daily basis. In which case. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you right now what you do. Motherfucker's bullying you. You kick him in his dick. Simple as that. It may be cheap as shit. Fuck it. What do you care? Well, of course, there's also telling the principal and shit. And that, they'll, they'll, always, they'll always work. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What you want to do, though, is if he's going to bully you, bully him back. Why? Because then he'll push him over the edge, and then he will do something stupid like hit you, which will give you a free excuse to defend yourself, which you can stay in court, and then you can beat the shit out of him with whatever the fuck you want in your vicinity because you felt threatened and you felt like your life was in danger. Just saying, it works. And then this nigga ends up going to juvie for assault while this nigga is also has like like fucked up face like damn nigga got done shit <laughs> I know it's weird I'm a weird dude fuck it but but the best way to deal with bullying is just fucking tell somebody about it usually it has to be a teacher or an adult cause they're, they're real strict on that shit now I mean me fuck it say what you wanna say shit doesn't doesn't mean I'm gonna take it seriously. I mean, I, if you if you're not of equal intelligence or higher than mine, then what you say is basically null and void. If you're gonna say dumb dumb shit, then I'm gonna treat you like you're a piece of dumb shit. That's enough. Of that shit. I don't know why the fuck this shit went like that, but it did. Cause it was like Rose and Maiden bullying edition. Fuck it. That's gonna be the title. Episode overall. Damn. I don't. I'm. I'm just gonna give it for that. For that one good moment at the end. Like overall, it was. It was okay. I guess. I mean, there weren't really bad moments in it. It was just okay throughout the entire thing. Which which is weird because my rating system was like uh, all okay or good in the bad. It's weird, but fuck it. But that calming music and that 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 great animation when it just came together, it just like soothed me. <sighs> Made me forget I haven't slept in two days because of one fucking episode, episode three of that shit. Literally, so fucked up. Like I can't stop thinking about. It. Fuck it. I know I'm going to pass out. Hell yeah. I'm going to be passing out by 1 o'clock. Now I'm going to have all my videos made by then. So, peace. It's, oh yeah, oh yeah. Fuck it. Tell me what you think about fucking bullying in the comment section down below. What you thought about the episode. I don't know how the fuck this shit turned into some like anti-bullying rant. Kind of with it. But fuck it. It did. That's what happened. It was weird. That shit happened like that. This was a weird ass episode of you. Of course. But... It's long as shit. So, peace. 
See you on the other side.